Hi kids, welcome back to Tuesday Storytime. I'm Teacher Julia, and I am so excited to share with you our story this week. All right, so this past Sunday, we learned about how God uses all things and works them for good. Sometimes things do not seem good. I know what that's like. So, again, we're back in the Old Testament before Jesus came to earth. And we're, we heard about a story of a boy named Joseph. He had a lot, a lot of bad things happen to him. But God was able to turn all those things to good. So we're going to read that story today. Again, I'm in the Jesus Storybook Bible. If you'd like to follow along, if you have this at home, we're on page 76. Um, if not, I will be sharing stories as, or the pictures as well as I can. All right. So this is from the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapters 37 through 46. This is called The Forgiving Prince. So Jacob had 12 sons, but all, of all his sons, Joseph was his favorite. One day, Jacob gave, gave Joseph a splendid new robe. It was beautiful and rich with all the colors of the rainbow, but it made Joseph's brothers jealous. They wanted rich rainbow robes, too. Then, to make matters worse, Joseph kept having these special dreams. I dreamed I was the greatest. I was king, Joseph told his brothers, and you all bowed down to me. Now, I'm sure you know, even if Joseph didn't, that telling your brothers things like that isn't a very good idea. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. They wanted to kill Joseph and his dreams. And one day, that's exactly what they tried to do. They tore Joseph's rainbow robe off him and sold him to slave traders for 20 pieces of silver. The traders took Joseph to Egypt and made him into a slave. The brothers went home and lied to their father, telling him that Joseph was dead. That's the end of that dreamer, they thought. But they were wrong. God had a magnificent dream for Joseph's life. And even when it looked like everything had gone wrong, God would use it all to help make the dream come true. God would use everything that was happening to Joseph to do something good. Meanwhile, though, things were not looking good for Joseph in Egypt. He was far from home and from his dad. Then he got blamed for something he didn't do. And even though he had done nothing wrong, he was punished and thrown in jail. But God had not left Joseph. One night, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, had a scary dream about thin cows gobbling up fat. What on earth did it mean? He didn't know. But Joseph was a dream expert, so Pharaoh sent for him. It means a famine is coming, Joseph explained. There won't be enough food. Pharaoh was so pleased by Joseph's skill that he immediately took Joseph out of jail and made him a prince. Now back home, Joseph's brothers had run out of food and everyone was hungry. God's special family was in danger. If they didn't get food soon, they would starve to death. So Joseph's brothers traveled to Egypt to buy food. They came and knelt before the new prince. His brothers didn't know that the prince was Joseph. But Joseph knew who they were. Joseph's dream, the one about his brothers bowing down to him, was coming true. It's me, Joseph cried. When they saw it was Joseph, his brothers were afraid. They had wronged Joseph. They had sinned, and they knew it. Now Joseph would certainly punish them, but Joseph looked at his brothers, and his eyes filled with tears. Even though his brothers had hurt him and hated him and wanted him dead in spite of everything, he couldn't stop loving them. His heart, which they had broken, filled up with love, and Joseph forgave them. Joseph threw his arms around them. Don't be afraid, he said. Behind what you were doing, underneath everything that was happening, God was doing something good. God was making everything right again. 
Joseph didn't punish them. He rescued them. He brought God's special family to live safely with him in Egypt. One day, God would send another prince, a young prince, whose heart would break. Like Joseph, he would leave his, leave his home and his father. His brothers would hate him and want him dead. He would be sold for pieces of silver. He would be punished, even though he had done nothing wrong. But God would use everything that happened to this young prince, even the bad things, to do something to good, to forgive the sins of the whole world. So sometimes, just like in Joseph's life, our lives get hard and they get messy. Sometimes they're just crazy. Sometimes you have so much going on that you just, you don't know what to do. And you know what? There's always going to be hard things in life. Always. I hate to break it to you, but your whole life there's going to be hard things. Some things will be harder than others, but life is not easy. But even through all these hard things, we can trust that God will work them for good. And sometimes... Like in Joseph's story, it doesn't seem like he can work it for good. Joseph was sold into slavery by his brothers. How could that be worked for good? But God made him ruler, and God allowed him to forgive his brothers from that. Sometimes in our life, bad things are going to happen. And you know what? We might not see the good that comes from it. But we can trust that there is good. Maybe we don't know why. Maybe we don't know what good could come from it, but we can trust that somehow, in some way, God is making good from it. So I have a couple questions for you guys. Um, I will read them to you, and then they will pop up on the screen. You can pause the video and discuss with your adult that you're watching this video with. So our first, my first question for you is, what are some hard things that you've gone through where you just felt like God could not make anything good out of it. Just that it was just too bad. It was too messy. It was too hard. There's no way any good could come out of that. What were some things that maybe you've been walked through or gone through? My second question for you, what are some hard things that God did make good? What are some things, some ways that you saw God create good out of some really bad, some really hard things? Share that with your adult. Um, feel free to pause this video and have that conversation. When you come back, I will explain what our activity will be for the day. Okay, so I have our activity. Once again, parents, just use whatever you can find. Um, I will link, I think I forgot to say this last week, but I will link, um, um, the link for the activity will be in the description down below, I believe it is. Uh, and you can go to there. Um, I don't always follow exactly what that is, so that's just another idea of, of how you can, you know, do this activity. So today we're just making a puppet. Um, in the activity it said use a paper bag. I didn't have one, so I found an old sock and I found some felt that I had, and I made a puppet. So this puppet, I just made Joseph's coat of many colors. I made it real quick. As you can tell, not a super great work of art, but a puppet nonetheless. You are welcome to use this puppet in whatever way you want to. Maybe you want to retell the story of Joseph. Maybe you want um, to just play around with it. Maybe you want to um, talk about some of the dreams that Joseph had and uh, some of the dreams that he interpreted. There's a lot of really cool things about Joseph, um, and your parents are welcome to either uh, do some Google searches on, on some of Joseph's dreams, or even, you know, look it up in Exodus. Um, yeah, that's all of our activity for the day. Um, again, that will be linked down below. Um, I want to pray for you guys really quickly, um, and then we'll be on our way. Lord, thank you so much for all the kids and adults that got to join us today. Um, we thank you that we're getting to spend this time with our family and spend this time in community, even if it may be online. Um, we thank you that we can trust you, Lord, that you tell us that you work good, work bad things for good. Uh, and we thank you for that. We thank you that um, even though things are hard and life is hard and messy, Lord, you work it for the good, even if we may not see that good. We can trust in your promise that all things work together for good for those who love you. 
we thank you for this and we pray that you'd bless us as we go about our week amen thank you so much for joining me again this week and i hope to see you all again next week bye